Now we're going to factor the trinomial 2x squared plus x minus 3 using the exact same method we used on the previous example. We'll start by naming a, b, and c, which are 2, 1, and negative 3. After that, we can multiply a times c. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And I need to think of factors of negative 6 that will also add up to b, which is 1. And the factors that I automatically think of are 3 and negative 2. 3 and negative 2 multiply to a product of negative 6 and add to a sum of negative 1. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take my trinomial 2x squared and I'm going to take the last term which is negative 3 and instead of having a plus 1x I'm going to change that to negative 2x plus 3x because I know that added together, negative 2x and positive 3x equal positive x. In my box, I would be doing something similar. I'd have my first term and my last term, and then I might decide that I needed to put 3x minus 2x in the box as well. So let's go ahead and do some grouping on this method, and then we can continue. We'll look at this first group, which is 2x squared minus 2x, and we're going to factor out the GCF of the group, which then would leave x minus 1. In the second group, the GCF is 3, so we'll factor that out, and after we do, we'll be left with the binomial x minus 1. Now before we go further, let's look at the left-hand column of the box. If I look at the left-hand column, I can see the same thing I saw in the group when I was on the right side of the screen. And I know that the GCF would be 2x, so that I would have x, and down here I would have minus 1, because negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. The only thing left for me to do is to figure out x times something is equal to 3x, and that something is positive 3. And it checks because negative 1 times 3 is equal to negative 3. So on the box, I can actually find, well, I can find my factors on the left and on the top of the box. But in the grouping method, I'm going to be taking a look at a new GCF, which is a binomial, x minus 1. And I'm going to factor that out. So I'm going to put it over here. I've factored out the binomial x minus 1. And after I do that, I'm left with 2x plus 3. And I can see that 2x plus 3 is on top of the box method, and x minus 1 was on the left-hand side. 